no problem. Yeah, team. Thank you so much. How are you feeling today? We are wonderful. We are so happy to be here with all those wonderful rectors and with our cardinal. Thank you so much. So if you don't mind, I would like you to introduce yourself so that uh, our viewers can know who you are and uh, what you do for Missio Austria. Yes. My name is Jutta Becker and I'm responsible for projects with our major seminaries. And uh, this is my dear colleague. You say your name yourself. My name is Simone Somm and also working for uh, mission, uh, uh, Pontifician Mission Societies in Austria. And she's the one, one of the ones, because they are two, who are on the phone all day with the benefactors. Okay. Thank you so much. So uh, just highlight for us so that we may understand what are the main roles of Missio Austria. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of topics we do. We help uh, the poor, we help in catastrophes. But Missio Austria has a very long tradition to support the priest formation. 45, it's already more than 45 years. And until now, we are counting nearly every day 24,441, I think, nearly for, uh, uh, had been supported priests all over the world, but most of them in Africa. We have already 108. 87 bishops and five cardinals and one of the cardinals being supported by the pre-sponsorship program is our dear cardinal Antoine Kambanda. Wow, that's so great to uh, know. We are so grateful because you're supporting our country. Now, this summit has brought over 28 rectors from different countries. Uh, if I'm not wrong, 14. How were you able to coordinate and bring all of them together? And uh, why did you choose Rwanda? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I can tell you because we started to broadcast the Holy Mass every day on, on TV. And at the end of the Holy Mass, we very often show um, overcrowded seminaries and the very often from Africa and very often also from Rwanda and I can tell you the people in Europe they are so happy and they are, it's, they are so grateful when they hear that the seminaries here in Africa are so full and so overcrowded and there is such a thirst in Europe for vocations for priests yes and I can tell you also that in the last years especially during the corona crisis so many people took over had been supported or supports um, priest vocations and in, in, in the last years we also um, we were able to um, admit to um, to take Seminaries. Yes, mm -hmm. take more seminaries in our program, and that's the reason why we are here. Yeah. And perhaps I can add something is for us, I had a dream already a long time, that to bring together the rectors, because we have seen, we are so grateful about the vocations, but we have seen, we visit one country, another country, you have exchanged, but they have not the possibility to exchange with one another. We started in 2018, it was a premiere, it was first time, yes. and we wanted to do it two years later but Corona uh, changed a little bit the plans uh, and uh, when we discussed with our rectors uh, in Africa we have as you have heard 28 seminaries at the moment being supported uh, we discussed which country we can go to and for, for many of them we said it, it's wonderful Rwanda is in the heart of Africa There's, it's the first uh, uh, apparition site in Africa being an acknowledged by the church so there is a wonderful base is for exchange because we have Mother Mary, we have this prayer, spiritual ground, but as well we have the story of your country because many countries are still struggling with violence, with wars, with, and reconciliation is as well something which is so important everywhere in the world. So we, we are so happy that we we could come to Rwanda, uh, in the heart of Africa, to, to live this week in prayer, but as well to learn a lot from one another. Wow, that's so amazing to get to know about our wonderful Rwanda, that uh, they saw it's a country full of peace, unlike other countries that are facing a lot of violence, and we are humbled to hear that from you. And uh, now, as you've said, you're supporting 28 major seminaries in Africa mm -hmm. with different rectors. How have you been able, or what are the, how do you get your resources and funds to fund these seminaries? 
Yes, we make fundraising. Um, I told already we, we broadcast the Holy Mass and we show videos. And when the people see the overcrowded um, seminaries, they call us, they write letters, and they all like to support the students because there's such a thirst in Europe for vocations and for priests. And what is so wonderful that it is not a money thing. It is really those people are at, uh, they, they, they are so proud that there are so many vocations. They want to participate in the creation of our church. They pray, I think many of them, every day for the seminarians. They give the contribution. And we have to be honest, the people who give, and we have heard it in the gospel today, because then I feel they are the ones who invite us, because very often those people have nearly nothing. Many of them are old people with a small amount for during their retreat uh, they get, and they give everything for the priests, for the future priests. Yes, and, and I remember because a friend of, of us, Father Alexi, he told us, because I always spoke about the church in Africa, I was so happy when I saw the, the, the blooming church in Africa, and he told me, no, Simone, there's no African church, we are one church. And wow, that's great to hear that we are one church, there is no African church. Is it your first time to be in Africa, or uh, you've made several trips to Africa? Mm -hmm. Oh, I think in, in Rwanda I had been 15 times already. <laughs> Some other countries I visited as well. And for Simone? Yes, I'm the second time in Rwanda. Second time mm -hmm. in Rwanda. And how are you feeling being in Rwanda? It's so good and it's such a grace to stay here. All right. <laughs> and you, how are you feeling being in Rwanda? I feel, uh, when I arrive at the airport, I feel home at home. I feel at home always. I have so many friends here and for me it's... Um, yeah, I can feel that there is a source uh, for me, because I have to be honest, I was not Catholic all my, my time. I came here first time as a Protestant, and I remember that really I, I got to know the, the Catholic Church, so blooming with so many young people deep in faith, this dancing in the church, and really this was how the Lord has embraced me and said, come, huh? I'm here. So that was your turning point to become a Catholic. How, is, how are the churches in Europe, if uh, you just give us a glimpse of how the churches are in Europe? In, in Austria, I can say we have uh, still the luck that there are many Christians, but of course we are struggling. We have people deep in faith, but we have a lack of young people. There are some parishes uh, who are put together. Yesterday we went with the cardinal to uh, the, uh, the inauguration of the new parish. But in our country, in Austria, very often parishes are put together because there are not enough Christians anymore. And even we have a problem of, of uh, not having enough priests to serve everywhere. Huh? And this sometimes makes sad. But at the same time, when, when during our work here with Missio, we can see we are one church. We have enough vocations. Uh, most of them in Africa, but as well as Asia, is, is there. there are still vocations, and this is the future, I think, of our church. And Africa is our hope. Africa is the hope of the future missionaries. That's great to hear. So for how long have you worked with Missio Austria? I started in 2011. And I started in 2010, and we have a colleague with us, Markus. We like to present you our colleague. All right. <laughs> to come in the image because we are a team. Eh? Uh -huh. Thank you so much. Would you just uh, introduce Good yourself? I'm Marcus and I'm with Missio since three years. Um, I'm um, in contact with not just the rectors in Africa, but also in Asia or in South, Af South America. All right, thank you so much. This is the team that has brought all the lectures, uh, rectors together today through their uh, organization, Missio Austria. All the rectors have been able to be assembled in Rwanda to have this amazing summit to discuss the future of the formation of our young men in the missionary because, as we know, we are facing a lot of challenges in the world today, in the church today. So they need support, and what they do is uh, bring resources together raise funds through fundraising in different churches back in Europe to be able to keep these seminarians in the formation or the major seminary. So we really do appreciate you for the work that you are doing and we are looking forward to work and to learn more about Missio Austria. So thank you so much for being with us today. To all our viewers, these are the people behind 
the summit that is taking place today and uh, for the next six days in Kigali, Rwanda, that has brought uh, 28 rectors from 14 different countries. Thank you so much, and we really do appreciate having you around. Do you have any parting shots? Uh, we want to say we love you. You give us so much hope, and we really, we, we send you hearts. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. God bless you for what you're doing. Thank you.